All right, here is a 150 PSI Max 1.9 horsepower uh, compressor. Can it run off of the Delta? We shall see. How do you turn it on? Hello there, uh, welcome to my channel. I'm Jehu Garcia and I am currently reviewing this awesome little battery called the Delta 1300. I am doing kind of a comprehensive review. And so I'm doing quite a bit of tests, putting it through spaces, just trying to figure out how well this battery will perform in a whole range of applications. Some of this footage will most likely not make it into the final review and that's why I'm making small separate videos here so that it doesn't get lost forever and also it could serve as a teaser to the upcoming review video. Doing a comprehensive review takes quite a bit of work and so I want to make sure that people are ready and expecting it and they don't miss it so that it's worth it for me and it's worth it for the manufacturers because so far I believe that this is a nice little battery. In later videos I will also be comparing it to other similar products that I have also been sent to review and so stay tuned for that but for now let's see how it compares with kind of an industry standard the famous Honda 2000 which is a small light and very quiet generator that people either love or hate but I think most people love it and so in this video here I kind of just put it up against to see if the battery would perform at the very least the same or better than the gas generator so here you go let's watch the video All right, let's see if a Honda 2000 will run this compressor. So there we go, it's connected. Let's see if it'll start. Okay, so started it once. The other one started it once too. Oh, there you go. So the Honda wins on this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Quick. Okay, now plugged in there. Okay, so it started again. One more time, let's see, one more time. It's struggling. How about with this guy? Ah, okay. So it seems the problem is more with the compressor than this guy's. It has trouble starting, you know, too quickly. It has to cool off because uh, it uses these capacitors to start the motor. So I think uh, they just run out of some, yeah, they run out of power. They don't charge quick enough. I don't know what the deal is here. Next up is, what is this? This is a, a coffee maker, which pulls about 1400 watts or something like that. We have it plugged in right now into the Honda 2000, a Honda 2000. Okay, let's run it. Okay. So the Honda, obviously, it's starting, doesn't like it, it's trying to run away. <laughs> so that's heating. 
Does it get any worse once, like on a sep separate step, like on the refill yeah. and the... On the... So it actually gets worse than this? Oh. Okay, so it seems the load seems to have lightened because the... Oh! Look at that. So that's what they were complaining about? This noise? Yeah. Huh. Okay. So yeah. This yeah, this guy is obviously having a idle up. Look at that. Meanwhile, the coffee is happening. Next stop is going to be to do this guy. So, let me turn this thing off. How do you turn it off? This way, right? No. Oh. There we go. So I'm quiet. Yeah, right. That's the freaking factory over there. What? Is there no noise happening here? So it's doing its thing? Oh, look at that, 1300 watts. The only thing that you can hear is the fans. There is a couple fans that turn on here. And that machine? Has fans also? No, you hear Oh. Now, of course, all that noise is from a factory that we have here on the other side, but Yeah, so it's got no problem doing that. Here we go. That's all the noise that we hear. Then it goes down to 11 watts. What's it doing right now? And the fans, they stop. There you yep. go, see? That's it? That's it. So no problem. And it's almost quiet. There you go. See, you do need one of these. So don't forget that I am doing the full review and that I am giving away a unit on that review video, right? So whoever watches it and comments and shares that video in the first six hours will get uh, to enter to win their very own Delta 1300, which is a $1,300 retail value battery. And let me tell you, it's looking like it's very worth that much money, right? So stay tuned for that. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.